Okay, you ready? What did I want to be when I grow up? Hmm, not what, who. Who did I want to be when I grow up? And I'll tell you right now, I wanted to be the Fox version of Robin Hood from the cartoon. That's what I wanted to be. When I was a kid, I was like, that's what I want to do, bow and arrow. And uh, the reason is because I was in love with Maid Marian. Like, I was in love with her. We were in love with each other, none of your business, but we were gonna marry each other and that's, that's what I wanted to be. <laughs> Hey, what's up everyone? This is Culture Drop, I'm Galen. This week we're doing something uh, totally different. We're mixing it up. We're doing uh, basically questions from a jar. This is a jar, it's full of questions. Uh, these came from social media or mailing list, uh, just around and they're questions about sort of business and like personal questions uh, about a bunch of myriad of topics. I don't really know what's in here. Um, so I'm just gonna answer questions from a jar. And that's what this week is. So uh, let's do this. <laughs> Getting the thing, oh, question, question. All right, what is this? Interview tips. Uh, so we did some recent segment around like uh, tips for interviews and asking great questions, but um, here's one I think is really important that gets missed, uh, is that like, I think it's really important in an interview, be excited. It's such a valuable currency and thing to, to like actually say out loud of your mouth, I really want this job. I think I would crush it. Like, I know that this would be a great fit. I would love to be here. I know that I will be awesome in this role. Like, I really, really want this job. I think that we're, people are kind of timid about saying that, but I've heard lots of, lots of stories about people who are like trying to play it cool or whatever, that end up not getting chosen by, even if they're the top candidate, because they're like, they didn't seem excited. Like, they don't actually seem like they want to work here. Do not underestimate the power of being like, hey, I am extremely excited about this job. I think it'd be a good fit. Everything we've talked about, I'm excited about this company. I know that I would crush it for you. It doesn't matter what the position is. No matter if you're a CEO or you're like entry level, first job out of college, doesn't matter. Tell people you want to work for their company. Um, I think that goes a long way, especially, you know, we, if you work for a company and you're hiring someone, you're proud of your company and you, you want people that want to work there. Okay, uh, next. Uh, all right, this one wants to come out. So what do we got? Uh, favorite TV show? Favorite TV show? Whew, this is tough for me. Um, okay, I'm gonna pick two. Feel Good and like Dark. Um, feel Good show, I would say Queer Eye is like, I think it's some of the like best things on TV. I can watch an episode of that, I can ball my eyes out. Uh, it's sweet, it's loving, it's kind, it's like very awesome. They like do wonderful things for people. If you have not watched that show, I highly recommend that you check out that show. Uh, it's beautiful. It's just like, just human and lovely. Uh, and also I will say Ozark. I love that show. And I don't do dark TV. I can't watch um, Breaking Bad. It's just too dark. It's too like negative in my brain. For some reason, I love Ozark. What's next in the jar of wonders? The jar of wonders. Okay, hold on, here we go. Oh, if you could make one thing illegal, what would that be? Oh, I know what it would be. I would make this illegal. Stop clapping during concerts. It brought a drummer. They don't want you to clap. Or they didn't bring a drummer, which means, shh, you are clapping off of the beat. People apparently can't hear that. Just don't do it. Don't clap along. Unless the person on stage is like, then clap your heart out. But also try to listen to the beat at the same time. <laughs> Real talk, just being honest. <laughs> I, can't, I can't, I want that one. Okay. <laughs> oh, this one's kind of juicy. I'll be fast about it. Advice for starting a business and entrepreneurship and like getting started with something. This is a hot topic for me personally, so I'm gonna tackle it. But when it comes to entrepreneurship, let's say that you are a kite maker. You love kites and you wanna make kites for people or you wanna make jewelry or you wanna do tarot or something. If you wanna start a business, the thing that people don't understand is that like you don't get to do that thing. Whatever it is that you love. You, you love to give massages and you wanna be a massage therapist, but you wanna start your own company, you're gonna to get to spend 3% of your time doing the thing that you actually love and the rest of your time, you're gonna be spent doing marketing, sales, business ownership, like if you're gonna hire employees, you have to like be a leader. There's so many pieces to running a business and hardly any of them are doing the fun thing that you're passionate about. Uh, my advice to most people is like, do not start your own business because you have no idea how much work it is. Um, but that being said, it's also rewarding and amazing and like go and do your dreams and do all this stuff. But uh, people need to realistically understand that like if you're gonna start your own business, you are a salesperson, you are a marketer, and then you get to do the thing you're passionate about, uh, a very tiny sliver for about three or four or five years until you build something up and then you get to actually do what you love but man it is so much more work than you realize it is uh yeah what do we got what's this 
do, 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 do. Favorite treat, sweet or savory? Okay, first of all, sweet. I'm a sweet tooth, big time. Favorite treat, anything with chocolate. And if it's chocolate with like more chocolate piled on top of it, great. And then caramel, peanut butter, don't care. Bananas, everything. Just like everything that's chocolate and add more chocolate things to it and then jam it into my mouth. <laughs> that's it, my favorite treat. What do we got? Uh, oh, what do I see is the biggest mistake that leaders make? How much time do you have? Just kidding. Uh, not asking for feedback. It's very rare that leaders go on a regular basis to their employees and say, how am I doing as a leader? How can I be better as a leader? Um, I think it's a huge mistake not to do that. It's just, it's an instant building of trust, rapport, like goodwill for your employees, like to take those things to heart and be like, I want to hear the things that I'm not doing well so that I can be better, so that you can have a better experience as an employee. So simple, it costs nothing, it takes zero time and the like, the ROI of that in people's like effort and retention, engagement, it's huge. It's such a simple thing to do for leaders. And I, I don't know, this old school top down leadership only gives feedback to employees and da da da. It's garbage. Like, go ask your people how you can be better. So simple. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe to our YouTube channel or sign up for my mailing list, The Culture Drop, and get these emails in your inbox every Tuesday morning, uh, once a week with a blog. Um, it's great stuff. Follow our social media accounts. We put a lot of free content about making more awesome teams and just being better leaders and better organizations.